To see how much the bags have decomposed, we first need to know how much mass has been lost from the bag. We can assume that mulch that was lost from the litter bag was broken down by decomposers into carbon dioxide, nutrients, and water, and it entered the soil or air around the bags. If we have the original weight of each bag, and then how much each bag weighed when we went out to collect data, we can take the original weight and subtract the new weight from it to find out how much mass was lost. We call that number mass loss. But it is not enough to just calculate the mass loss. There is some variation in how much each bag weighed to begin with. As an example, let's say we have two bags that both lost one gram of weight over time. One of those bags weighed 100 grams when we made it, and the other one weighed only 10 grams. If both lost one gram, do you think they decomposed at the same rate? Not quite, because one of the bags lost 1% of its starting weight and the other one lost 10%. So the second bag appears to have decomposed much more quickly. This means that to really compare the decomposition rate for each bag on top of calculating mass loss, we will also need to calculate something called the percent mass loss, or what percentage of the total mass of each bag was lost to decomposition. Move on to the next slide to learn how to calculate these numbers for each of our mulch bags in Google Sheets.